Hi and welcome to the Ruby Tuesday. My name is Ruben and this is my review for Netflix's original series Santa Clarita Died Season 3. If you haven't seen Season 1 and 2 then I suggest maybe skipping this review because there will be some spoilers about what happened in the first two seasons as I'm explaining or doing my review for this. But let, for now let's get into the review. <laughs> So Drew Barrymore and Timothy Oliphant are back as Joel and Sheila. They're picking up exactly from what happened at the end of season two, where the poop definitely hit the fan. Life's getting back to normal. In the first two seasons, we saw a little bit of the arc of establishing what the new kind of zombie law is and what exactly it is that the thing that they spit out when they get turned into a zombie. I got you a present. In season three, a lot more of the arc of the overall arc is is fleshed out which is really great because that's what kind of kept me interested i think the dialogue in this season is also particularly strong i really liked what they've done with season three it feels like they've found their stride the family unit works really well and abby there's as their daughter i think she's great in this there's this really cute quirky moments between abby and eric our grandchildren our respective grandchildren and their kind of non relationship on relationship kind of flows throughout the whole of the 10 episodes which are all about 30 minutes long at the same time each of these relationships are trying to figure out how to deal with zombies now being in the world at the same time Sheila's trying to figure out what it means to be a zombie and what is her purpose in life now in fact she really doesn't like the z word and her husband Joel is trying to figure out exactly what it means for him to protect his family unit as his wife is now a zombie and there's so much more going on as you saw in season two there are there is this team of people around the world that basically it's their job to hunt for zombies and the Knights of Serbia are going to be involved in this and they are throughout the arc without me giving any spoilers but each episode kind of delves more into the arc at the same time you're dealing the family is dealing with what's going on in their not in their lives and you what you get is this mingle of storyline and story arc and relationships going through the motions of daily life as well as trying to tackle um, you know just trying to survive and it becomes the day in and day out how we're we gonna survive the hour the day the month and what I really liked about what they did with this 10 episodes is that each episode kind of makes you want to watch the next one because they leave you almost on the cliffhanger on each episode but more like ah oh, now what's gonna happen and then the next episode comes and something else hits the fan and i love the way the dialogue is used in this it's i hate that that worked they're really tight in their comedic moments but it's more like what they have to do with everyday lives in every moment and then having to deal with the zombiness and then having to deal with their lives constantly almost falling apart they're always juggling so many things and this plays off really well i think timothy oliphant and drew barrymore have really found their stride in season three i loved every second of this series i'm a huge fan of the series now and I hope it keeps going because I like I said I do feel like they found a perfect stride yeah season one you get to find out what this world is about season two you get to find out how they kind of cope with it and season three they're kind of building on that arc in that world and now Abby is really kind of brought into this world as well and it's so nice to see what each character gets to do now that they've established a bit of the arc and the Nazi meat rotted and I'm not gonna give any spoilers but when you reach episode 10 again there are moments in each series where your mind was kind of went, what the hell is that and again that happens here Thankfully, I can say when I've reached the end of episode 10, it looks like there is going to be more series. I can't believe they'll leave it like that. But from what I've seen, I think everybody's going to love the third season. I don't think that it's given us any less. I think the, one of the really strong points of this is the dialogue. It's so quick, fast-witted and snappy that you can't help but love the story. And the actors that are delivering it are doing their jobs really well. How much more of this do you need? I'm good. It looks fun. I wouldn't say that there's any spe anything spectacular about cinematography or anything, but I think between the dialogue and the acting and the actors and the storyline now developing really well, it's something that you should check out. I thoroughly enjoyed watching these 10 episodes and you can get through them pretty quickly they're only half an hour and they're only 10 episodes i wa i watched them out very quickly this morning i should say though that it's not for everybody because it is quite gory in places although it is a comedy it is a comedy horror 
and my wife tried watching the first season with me and she went nope that's too much for me that's too much gore and I totally get that but for me I thought that it has a really nice balance of comedy drama and then horror and um, it works itself nicely it's not always but I think it's it has the right amount of zombiness so if you're a fan of zombie stuff you're gonna love what they've done with this kind of arc if you're a fan of just Drew Barrymore and Tim Timothy Oliphant then I would say watch this because they're in their stride here there was one character that I was disappointed that I didn't see again in this series, but I'll leave you to find out what I'm talking about. You'll know it when you see it and you might go, uh, but I still like what they've done with their character. And talking about returning characters, there are a few new ones as well that you'd be like, ah, I know that guy. I've seen him from somewhere. So you have a lot of new surprises. Most of the main actors or sub actors are back in this series. Watch it if you loved season one and two. I thoroughly enjoyed myself. Let me know what you thought about season three in the comments below. I'm kind of skirting around the kind of the some of the plots because I don't want to give anything away because it's one of those series that you can spoil quite easily. Let me know what you thought about season three or season one and two. Are you as invested into the family characters and dynamic of what they have to go through in everyday life um, as I am? Let me know below as well. I particularly liked some of the really real moments. So in amongst the violence and the gore and the comedy and just trying to survive, I felt like their family unit really came together even more this time around. There were these moments where I thought, wow, that's actually quite emotional. I wasn't expecting that from this show. Just just moments enough to kind of drag you further into the characters. So for that reason, I'm going to give Santa Clarita Diet season three an A. Thanks for watching this review. We've got loads more coming. Netflix has dro dropped a bunch this uh, Friday. So check out my channel for more already. We had some early screeners, which was great. And we've got some more early screeners coming next week. So I hope you stick along with us and you're enjoying the content that I provide. But most of all, until next time, remember, live long and Tuesday.